Hey guys, welcome back to Big Speed's Beer Review. It's always exciting to have you here with me once again. Uh, today we're, we're going right up again uh, to the edge of madness. Uh, we're we're going to be looking into the abyss here uh, to see if it looks back into us. Uh, checking out uh, a beer from the folks at Prairie Artisanal Ales uh, down there in Oklahoma. This is Spicy Pickle Monster. Now, read the description of the video, you know. Uh, that's not just a, a funny name designed to uh, to circumvent any existing copyrights, because you know it's, it's hard to name new beers these days with all the names that are already out there. This is in fact a pickle beer, and it is not the only pickle beer I've seen, not by a long shot. Uh, as I said when we did PB and J Sours, uh, Bixby's Beer Reviews is for the people. Uh, I'm here to bring you all the information you need, not just on the classic styles, but on, on the cutting edge stuff that's out there, on the, the newest, and wildest uh, inventions uh, in all the different realms of craft beer. So this is a sour ale, ostensibly. Uh, it has spicy dill pickles, orange, lemon, and lime in it. Uh, now, I maybe the weirdest beer that I've ever had, although it ended up actually being uh, pretty close to a, a regular beer, was a, a pastrami rye sour that I had once. And so I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe for all these crazy ingredients, this is just going to be a, a slightly tart effervescent sour, but <sighs> spicy dill pickles, spicy dill pickles. Let's do this. So bringing this beer to you guys, far from just a charitable endeavor, I love dill pickle, love my kosher dills, love the super sour ones, love the spicy ones too. So be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued by the possibilities here. So. Uh, as I've noted before, in, in sour beers, even ones with, with fruits or other adjuncts, unless the adjunct itself has a strong color, you're probably going to see pretty close to a color like this because you're not seeing any darker specialty malts in a uh, in a sour beer usually. So we can see uh, very, very pale, very light. Uh, oranges, lemons, and limes not going to have a lot of color, so you're not seeing a lot of change there. Uh, you notice the head gone away very quickly. Uh, something that will happen often with adjuncts, as we always say. Uh, here we're noticing uh, quite a bit of effervescence. Uh, it's looking like a, a lighter sour. This one does only come in about five and a half percent. So it looks to be a, a lighter, maybe more pleasingly bubbly sour than some of the heavier ones we've had before. But that's what it looks like. Let's 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 smell this beer. That these are words I thought I'd never say in my life. That is a very pickle forward aroma on this beer. Uh, I get lighter notes of both uh, explicitly citrus fruit, I'm getting some of the lemon lime, uh, also just some of the sort of generally sour beer notes that, that lighter souring bacteria produce. But I would say that the dominant aroma here is indeed the, the kind of coriander, mustard seed, and then black pepper that you often see in a pickling spice mix. Not noticeably spicy, I would say yet, but it, it smells mostly like a pickle that also might have some, some citrus juice in it. So. With that in mind, let's <laughs> let's get into it. Let's give out this one taste. Well, there's the spicy. There it is. Huh? <sighs> I wouldn't say that this is like drinking pickle brine, but it certainly has a pickle brineish element. Uh, certainly a a strong. Uh, I'm gonna say sort of red pepper flake uh, heat uh, coming in very quick, very prominently. It has quite a bit of carbonation like we've seen, very, very dry body. So those those flavors just uh, whistle right through you. Uh, certainly getting some of uh, also that, that coriander, mustard seed, pickling spice flavor that we got in the aroma. Uh, the tartness is overall reasonably restrained, which is surprising given that there's three different citrus fruits involved here. So on the whole, it is like slightly fruit sweeter, much less acidic, pickle brine. Whether you want to drink that is a decision that only you can make. I'll be perfectly honest, I love pickles. And I am actually, in spite of every sign that I got as I observed this beer before I tasted it, enjoying it. I'm, I'm really actually kind of like this. Uh, as someone who, who has long held to the, uh, uh, the kind of the old wives tale that Drinking pickle juice for a hangover will help cure it. Uh, I, I enjoy drinking this quite a bit. It's, it's like what you want from pickle juice without the, the, the extra acidity. So, so there's that. But whether that's something that you really enjoy, uh, you're gonna have to figure out for yourself. But uh, 
As among the pickled beers I've seen, they're not always all spicy. Uh, might be interesting to check one out that isn't spicy. Who knows, maybe we'll do that in the future. But in the meantime, as always, uh, bringing you all the information you need to evaluate uh, these fun new trends we have in the, the wonderful world of American craft beers. Thanks so much for joining me for this glass of pickle brine. Look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, bye now.